Hey, uh, we got some Ganzo lovers in the audience? Yes, we do. Why do they put the label over the, the logo all the time? Look at that. They got no respect. No respect. What do we got here? We got a couple of the same damn thing. G729. Oops. One's an OR, one's a GR. Let's get them out. I think one's orange and one's green. What do you want to bet? Hmm? Make a little bet on that? Probably not. Okay. Got these in. You know, I I saw these. I, I'm not sure that I was all that. <clears throat> Got the pouch. Got the pouch. Then I was that excited about them at, when I first saw them, and I didn't order them for a while, and then I thought... You know what? They got an arc lock on them. Oops, piston lock on them. Did I say arc lock? <clears throat> piston lock on them. And you know, I kind of do like the design that might be somewhat familiar to me with this hole here. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, hey, they're borrowing a design, but they ain't the first knife that's ever put a hole in the blade. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Or that's done a flat grind, right? Other than that, I mean, hey, it ain't got no freaking back lock. It ain't got no liner lock, you know? I like that. I do. I like having this uh, uh, piston lock. I really do. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I, you know, I'm a freak. Okay. I'm a freak. I like piston locks. I'm not that big on liner locks. Uh, I have liner locks. And I've got flippers with liner locks, and I've got nothing specifically against them. It's just they're kind of uninspiring. I really like frame lock, titanium frame lock, uh, flippers, tactical flippers. <clears throat> These are your work Joes right here, aren't they? Wow. I mean, first of all, let's get them both out. Hey, why not? Let's have a party. First of all, these knives are extremely utilitarian. They really are. They've got G10 scales. They're tough as nuts, right? I mean, you should see the reviews on Gear Best, right? They're tough as nuts. They really are. Come in different colors, and those people just love them. They just go, you know what? You need to get one for that and one of each color and one for backups. And I mean, hold on, I'm reaching around. See? They come in a black. Green, camo, orange, right? So, Mr. Love Them, how much do they cost? No way. Yeah, way, way. Look at the stars rating on it. 4.9, 245 customer reviews. Everybody loves them. Everybody loves them. Tough. Utilitarian open standoffs, right? Easy to clean, right? No rough edges, smooth, smooth, smooth. Pretty grippy G10. Yeah, yeah, liking it, liking it. Okay, Ganzo, it ain't spider what? No. There's model number. 729 440c steel still using it still proud of it still some custom knife makers using it you know maybe not many but some they used to about a four millimeter thickness on the blade full stainless liners did i say that pocket clip is nice and good size um it'll catch the oh, it's, it's catching something already it's almost got some stuff in there Get out of there. It did get out of there. Okay. I blew it out. Yeah. And you know what? It feels good in the hand. There's no hot spots because of this kind of hits you between the fingers when you grab it. Or it does for me. I mean, I don't know. G10 is G10 to me, folks. I mean, I know it can come in different iterations, but uh, but it's smooth. Jimping here. And I mean, it's not real significant. It's not... It's definitely not going to hurt your thumb, that's for sure. And I don't know how effective it really is going to be because it is pretty smooth. Jimping. It's pretty smooth. But it's pretty rounded off, too. I mean, really, 
you know, in in the hole there, it's it's not as it, they could have uh, chamfered it a little bit inside the hole here. Although it's not, nah, it's not all that bad, really. Tell you the truth. Ugh, see, these just came out of the box. I haven't had a chance to work with them. I mean, after a while, they'll the the blade will fly shut. You know, on these. <sighs> kind of like, right? My carbon fiber one. Bam, open. Bam, closed. Open, closed. Real easy, real easy. They'll get that way. All the, these blades are not as heavy as on those models there. But uh, if you want to see those knives, the, the carbon fibers, there's a bunch of them. My review's up for those. And I, I know it kind of seems silly to do uh, one on kind of each carbon fiber model like I did. But when I put my review back to gear best, I include uh, a link to my video for that specific model. So people who look at my review, I mean, I'm reviewing, I mean, I'm, I'm giving a review, I mean, a response or a rating like hundreds of other people are, but I'm just going to put up my video thing so they can go and look at my video. It'll help them make a buying decision. And I'm not getting paid by Ganzo to do it. I mean, I guess they did use one of my videos, my earlier videos, and they gave me a, a hundred gear best points or something, which was like $2 discount or something on my next purchase. I don't know. But in any case, so I just said, I'm happy that you can use it. Uh, you know, God bless you. Have fun. So I'm not pimping for anybody. Um, you know, although I'm not... Uh, I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> hey, I spent my whole life in sales, folks. G729 440C. Although that was insurance, corporate insurance, so no. Actually, I did sell uh, new cars for a while for Ford. So, uh, ooh, for nine months. That ran me to death. In any case, nice, nice G10. Nice uh, feeling there. Good even blade grind, I think. Very nice. Flat grind. Very usable for anything. I mean, food prep, cutting limes for your Corona, if you know what I mean. Right? Cutting through an orange or cutting you know, broccoli or whatever. I mean, food prep type stuff. Carving wood, whatever. I mean, and it's sharp. How sharp is it? Ah, give me a piece of paper. Fool. Oh. <laughs> oh, mama, 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 come to daddy. Right? Right? Is that sharp? Happy? Are you happy now? Well, I hope you are. You ought to be. That is cheap. And it's like nice, nice feeling. Feels good in the hand. It's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's not going to drop when you pull back on the piston lock, you know. Not right now. You need to give it some love for a while. Work it out. Sit in your chair, watch an NFL game, and mess with it. You know, it'll finally get around there. It'll loosen up. It's got kind of a, a, a tough spring. And there's some people that talk about, <clears throat> see this piston lock? Do you see the actual button on both sides? It doesn't really come much above the scale, does it? And I've heard some people talk about that and say, it would be nice if it was a little bit more raised above the scale so it was easier to grab. I have really not found that to be a problem for me. Uh, it, it grabs okay. The, the spring is pretty, it's pretty stiff. So, <clears throat> I guess for young children who shouldn't be playing with this, or elderly who may not have as much strength in their hands, yeah, it might be a little bit more of an issue to pull back. It's doable. I mean, you don't really have to really disengage it a whole lot. So, you don't have to pull it all the way back to disengage the blade just a little bit. Right? You see the... The mechanism move so and it'll be easier over time so it's kind of nice that it's a little overly stiff and they just say hey ride it a while it'll get better and it what and it does and it does it's not gritty 
in the action. Not gritty at all. Nice and smooth. Should we give the green a little time? Here you go. You like that color? I like I like the green and the orange. Uh, the optical orange I'm really drawn to because I've dropped things on the ground before. You got to see my golf game. Hell, all my all my golf balls are either optic <laughs> yellow or orange. I swear to God, you know I got this slice. I just can't. I can't. I can't deal with. But in any case, so yes, you don't want to drop it on the ground and and have it disappear. And black is not my favorite on on a on a on a scale. It's just kind of so ordinary. <clears throat> but like I said before, when it comes to carbon fiber, black knives matter. They do. They do to me. Wow, that's really nice. That's nice. I like that. Woof. Woof. Damn, I'm still trying to get over that. <clears throat> but these came in with the the rest of them in one big saggy bag from china it was it made me laugh it's just like what the hell is this lump well it's a bunch of boxes of ganzo knives honey <laughs> yes i'm excited dear okay so everybody gets excited about different things this is what gets me going right all kinds of knives get me going but you know what you look at this and i don't know i mean I, you can go on aliexpress okay instead of gear best aliexpress and you can get um a knockoff of a spider co para for what 14 15 16 bucks it, i've i've got one okay I, no i've got a knockoff of the military the full military so longer blade but i've got two of them i've got an orange and a a brown and you know what nah nah not as nice as this not as nice and they're like an 8 cr 13 mov they're not a 440c and this is a step above that at least in the charts i've seen look at that edge i don't know no sharp edges here though i mean you know when they take the time and that's kind of my deal when they take the time to run and chamfer and make sure there's no sharp edges, everything's smooth and uniform. I don't know, what's that called? Fit and finish? Possibly? Yeah. Can you carry it left-handed? You tell me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lanyard hole comes in handy for a work knife, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Not a, you know, not deep carry. I don't think I've seen a Ganza with a deep carry clip. But you know what? I mean, um, these are knives that are kind of made to be accessible from your pocket. You know, you're wearing your jeans, you're out on your ranch, or you're out in the woods, or you're camping, or hiking, or fishing, or boating, or whatever you're doing, <clears throat> or just out in the garden. And you got, you know, the fibrous palm tree leaves. You know, here in the in the south, uh, we have. Uh, things like that and you can cut through that like a knife through butter yeah really nice okay really nice very matter-of-fact pivots you know they're accessible so you can pull it apart if you need to right stainless steel full stainless liners piston lock no rough edges everything chamfered nice nice g10 very uniform nice and grippy not too rugged uh jimping not too rough just enough flat grind blade very useful and very easy to open with your hand right here since you don't have a thumb stud you got an opening hole very nice i like it i mean i guess i need to uh start trying to <laughs> See, get it a little looser right like that that's already they have played with that more than this one but they just come out of the boxes so really nice got their own corporate name on it if you're not familiar with ganzo gear best has got the best prices i know of and it's going to take you if you get them in two weeks god bless you because it took almost three for me to get mine i thought they'd been lost somewhere <clears throat> i thought they'd been lost somewhere I'm sorry, it's late in the show, isn't it? Okay. 
three and a half inch blade, eight and a quarter overall. I think this one's just like it. Three and a half inch, so like a pair of two, right? Kind of. Okay, let's see how much they weigh. Get that scale over here. 4.4. 4.4. That's not bad. It's very carryable at 4.4. <clears throat> I mean, look at uh, look at this. Carbon fiber. And this is three and a half blade, right? 4.8. You know, ain't none that's bad. And here's big boy. 3.7, right? <clears throat> blade. Okay. Bigger, longer knife, right? Put it on the scale. Five even. So, really, they're all within half an ounce of each other, just about. Very sharp out of the box, all of them. All of them will cut paper. Really do a great job. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. I mean, I'm, I'm probably talking your ear off. I'm just having too much fun doing this. And I get excited, and then I just kind of get overwrought and... I'm not telling you you should buy this knife um, uh, because I want them all for myself. So forget it. Just don't get one. Don't get one. It'll be more for me. And this ain't the end of my Ganzo buying experience. I'll guarantee you that. In fact, I do have more on the way, actually, folks. So uh, check out the GearBest site if you are interested in one of these. Good budget-friendly knife. Very, very great reviews by hundreds of people on these knives. They're really getting to be known. They're really making a name for themselves, which scares me. Because this thing will now be not $16. It'll be $36. And really, it's worth $36 all day long. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is the big boy, right? Carbon fiber. $20.16. I'm sorry. Free shipping halfway around the world. Carbon fiber. I mean, come on. Come on. Get out of town. This thing will be 45, 50 bucks in, in a year and a half. I swear, or it'll be out of production. I don't know. But, you know, get them while you can. Cause, uh, and there was a guy that did a review. I had to laugh. He goes, <laughs> he says, get you three or four of them and then a couple more for backup. <laughs> and I, I mean, I had to agree because he goes, they are awesome awesome knives <laughs> and it's like amen brother i mean i'm sorry I, I it's just so funny to read a review of a guy that just feels exactly like you do and it's like everybody's chiming in like they're all of a sudden they're converted they've met jesus or something i don't know it's it's strange when they get the knives how they respond to them they just like sit there and try and find a reason why they're crap and they aren't and they are just so good it's it's almost annoying they're so good uh, you're just going wow where have i been and this is nice so oh god i'm 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 taking a lot of your time all right orange and green i like the colors you can get black and you can get uh, the camo and that's good too i might even consider getting one in camo but uh how many knives will the wife let me have like this around the house don't know we could try and push our boundaries. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for your time. And subscribe to my channel if you want to. And visit my Facebook page at lovethemknives.com. Thank you.